Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. And we're moving to the major conversation for today where the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress have resolved to ground activities nationwide from October 3rd, 2023, following what the labor unions tagged as the failure of governments to successfully implement policies to alleviate the suffering of Nigerians following the removal of the subsidy on premium motor spirits. The NLC national president, Joe Ajero, during a virtual National Executive Council meeting, uh, which held on Zoom on, Zoom on Tuesday, told members of NEC that a meeting was held with the officials of the CUC to deliberate on ways forward. Ajero noted that it was, it, uh, it was resolved that the two centers work together to make their stance known to the government. And uh, to have this conversation with us is Prince Adebola Adeniji Adele. He is the President General Citizens uh, Liberation Advocacy Initiative. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Yeah, sir. good morning. And thanks for having me this morning. All right, uh, let's take an analysis of the um, <coughs> request being made by the NLC and the TUC. The most popular, of course, is to raise workers' wages to uh, 200,000 naira. Uh, uh, that is a review on the minimum wage. And, of course, also tasking the federal government to uh, put up measures that would help to ameliorate the uh, suffering of Nigerian workers since mm. the removal of the... Um, fuel subsidy uh, mm. that was about four months ago when the president was inaugurated into office and a couple of other demands that they are making. How do you react to these demands? Well, uh, when I read it and I talked to myself people that surrounded me and I'm asking Nigeria now, is it, is it necessary? for labor to go on strike at this crucial time? I'm asking myself, it is necessary or good for labor to sit down and hold the meetings and say the, the best things to do now is to go on strike. Why? Because the demand has not yet been given. In democracy, what we believe the good much on it is dialogue. Dialogue is not too much. Dialogue and dialogue and dialogue. I've been following the labor since the Bafiao, the time of the era of Bafiao. And today, I can tell you categorically that uh, <clears throat> Nigeria stays on three or four spears today. One, the civil servant. Two, the self-employed. Three, oh, she will be, you are not working, you are not eating. Means that if you don't go out today, you know how far, how far find the ends means. Then the number four are those who are jobless. Sorry to use that language. Who did not have anything to do at all. Now, and now because we are lo I'm looking at the NSC of what you said now. They wanted to grant the activities of Nigeria at this time around. One, because you are requesting or asking for 200,000 basic salary and it has not been given. So what is the impact of going to strike is going to affect me. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to affect me in all ratification. I don't know. And I want you to tell me I'm, I'm a civil, uh, what are they calling me? I'm a civil, uh, self employed. I'm not a civil servant. I'm not requesting money for any government. I work hard to eat my life. But I will not use your own own now to disturb me. So I am not support, totally reject, and I am not in succumb of going to that strike they wanted to go by October 3rd. Mm -hmm. It is just personal to them. You don't think that the labor at this point have been pushed to the wall. Let us mm. not um, 
let us not push um, the demands of the Labour Congress to the box of just minimum wage. And it is so much more than that, which of course, when if these needs or demands are met, will uh, positively affect every individual, including self-employed persons like yourself. Mm -hmm. They're also asking the government to create alternatives, especially when it comes to transportation, CNG buses. Mm -hmm. These demands are not far-fetched. Okay. First of all, um, it is. do you not think that it is within the rights of the labor to go on strike? Especially, uh, you know, taking from what you said, how that it is a democracy and negotiations are top on the list, especially when it comes to, you know, situations like this. Mm -hmm. The labor has, on many different occasions, had roundtable meetings mm -hmm. they've been the persons out there who are most willing to have a conversation okay judging from this situation that we're in now mm -hmm. if you read the communique from off of the net meeting that the nlc had on tuesday they said that the federal government has deliberately mm -hmm. avoided having um negotiations and conversations with them in the very recent past how do you also react to that well let us be sincere to ourselves and I'm here to be factual, here to see how labor is going to convince me, as you just said now, that labor was established in Nigeria to be the mediator between the government and the civil servants. Okay? It is when they now begin to bring in some other region, should I call region or should I call them a group? Like Mobifield is not among of them. They go in to have uh, NURTW to join them as a labor and pick some other people to join them. Now, the activities of what is going on in this country now means that if labor, they are not going to be selfish enough as what happened in this country is embroidered to all of us, to all of us. So the negotiation they are doing with the federal government, we have not seen how it ends. I think they still continue of talking, talking, talking to them. So, and you cannot mainly be among of a political party I wanted to say that because it's your, not your party, because I, I, I even read it beyond that the Labour Party wanted to join them, the Labour to, to cushion the, the strike too. So you cannot because the person you have believed in, the party you feel that it should be in the areas of uh, uh, affairs, uh, aims of affairs, it's not there. And you cannot break down. Is this, you, is this you making this conversation political? Because I don't see the place of... No, 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 no. I'm not. The person I'm not. You, I, I'm not. Um, see, the the Labour Party decided to back the NLC from their mm. own... Um, uh, off of their own um, um, bidding. No, mm. There was no conversation between mm. the Labour Party and the Labour Congress. Mm. The Labour Party have their own reasons for backing. The PDP can decide to back and so can APGA or any other political party. That does not make this situation political. It is strictly between the Labour and the federal government. See, me, um, my own opinion is that I've not seen reason why Labour should put us into anarchy, neither they should put us into that harsh time that we were we are. I know how much I pay to my children at schools. I know how much I pay to feed people at home. I know how much I pay to myself too. So if, if Labour cannot realize with me or look at me that, okay, I'm doing things by myself, but you are collecting government money as a salary. So leave us alone and begin to talk to the government until when you reach into a conclusion. Okay. So that, that's where I look at so it. <laughs>